Hi everyone, welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku on this Tuesday, October the 8th, 2024. I can start by putting a 4 in one of what will be two places in row 3. I get a 6 in two places in row 2 from the top three rows. I think that's all I get. In the middle rows, I get a 4 and I'll get a 5 in the same row, but three spots instead of two. On the bottom, I have nine that can be placed immediately. If I go by columns, I can place seven in column one, region one. Those two fours, put a four down here. I put ones in, and there's four, nine, three, eight, and six, so I'm done otherwise. And I've got nines there. Now, I have five digits in row eight, and neither of those can be one. That puts a one in one of those two spots specifically, and therefore one of these two. I need one, four, five and nine, right? No, I need one, four, five, and seven. So row eight looks like that. Let's see. Excuse me, um, two here and two can't go here. That still leaves three spots for a two, though, in region one. That does not help me. But these cannot be one, four, six, and eight, or two or three. So they are from five, seven, nine, and that's these are nine, so. That gives me a 5-7 derived pair in column 4, so 1, 4, 5, 7, 9 leaves 2, 3, 6, and 8. To fill out as a quad, these are both 5-7, this cannot be 5. So, what that means is I have 4 and 5 in the same two cells in the same region in the same row. Therefore, that's a derived 4-5 pair here. One is now limited to these. See, these... Okay. These cannot be 1 or 3, or 4 or 5. So they are 2, 6, 7, 8, 9 explicitly. Let's see. Neither of these could be six or eight. So these can't be six or eight, and these aren't either. At least six and eight, I think, is the only two spots they can be are these two. So this is a derived six eight. Two, four, five, six, seven. What, three, six, eight? Hmm. This is two, four, five, and seven here, like that. I think that ends up as two, four, doesn't it? So that's a derived quadruple also, in addition to this cell. And these three. So, assuming that's the case, because I still have yet to place one, three, and nine, which have to go in one, two, three cells here. Well, this one sees a three, so it's one, nine. 
This can be any of them. That one can't be 9 or 1, so actually that's a hidden 3. I'll be. So, I'm left with the right 1 9 pair here, so these aren't 9. Three in that place three can derive to follow up on threes. Oh, I need to go by some other thing, like pink and fuchsia or something to delineate the quads, because I've seen four of them, that gave me a couple of digits to this point. Now, let's see, these can't be 1, 2, 7, 8, 9, so they strictly fall from 3, 4, 5, and 6. Hmm. Uh, four, six, seven, eight, column two says I need one, two, three, five, and nine, and this is one and three. There are those going to be five? This one can't be nine or two. This is my second attempt to solve it. I think here I made a mistake of trying to disambiguate four from that cell too early and making a triple here, and then I had a problem. Now in column three, I've got two, three, four, six, seven, but since these can't be six, one of these must be. Oh, no, not necessarily, because this could still be six. So, two, three, four, seven leaves one five six eight nine and this sees six and nine so it's down to three this sees one and six it's also down to three it sees everything but five and that's got the same issue two three four eight leaves one five six seven nine for row two and this is five and nine, so it's one, six, seven. This is nine. Okay, so the easiest way to see it, these aren't nine by given. This isn't by the nine in column four looking up, and that's not by the place nine. So where does nine go in row two? There's only one space. Plus this one nine kind of set the tone, doesn't it? So that just says 9 has to be here. See, these cells cannot be 2 through 6 inclusive. They are strictly 1, 7, 8, 9, with that not being 7. This can't be 3, 4, 5, 7, 9. I have no help there. These aren't three, four, five. Okay, well, these cells, which are easy to spot, are five, seven along with two, right? And they form a triple, like this light green, which is what I normally start with for those. Um, let's see, this cell down here at the very bottom left of the grid can't be two, five, seven, eight, nine.
and with one, three, four, six. And these can't be one, two, six, or nine. That one can't be three, four, five, six, or nine. It is one, two, seven, eight. Okay, so the middle rows are filled in, and I have nothing useful coming out of it. But I do look at where does 4 go in column 5? That's something I just noticed. These can't be because of this 4. These can't be by these. And this isn't by that. So that 4 that just spotted in the region. Probably key to something. Now, these aren't five, so two, four, seven means this can't. That's the only place for five in the row, or rather, in column four. So these end up as two fives in theory, and therefore this. Can't be two. So 6, 8 here leaves this a 7, doesn't it? Okay, that leaves 1. And a boatload of things that can't be 1. I can finish row two off. See out here, um, I need to place a one, which I have not done yet. A one, three, four, seven, eight look possible. And neither can be three or four. Okay, this is not helping me at all, is it? These can't be one, six, or nine. These aren't one, two, six, seven, nine, so they are three, four, five, eight. So this can't be two. This I think still could be though. Now let's see. This is six, eight, so these are not eight. Importantly, that's not six. And now two, four makes that three, although I would have been able to figure that out from this being five. So that settles five, six, four. And we'll finish off region seven. These aren't six, that's not five, and that's not three. Two nine makes this a three. Therefore, that's three. So 
Well, I've got 268, and these are also part of derived quadruples. Oh, next thing, 265 rules this out for me, too. Yeah, that's going to end up being red. This is going to end up being yellow to go with those. Three there, and what does that do me? Not much. I don't think. Uh, next thing is there's a one six eight nine quad here, so that's a two. Sets out the four at the bottom left. That sorts out seven four two in column six, which is going to tell me eight three two, and then reduce region nine down to a one seven pair in row eight. That comes back up here. This is seven. So these are 1, 8, therefore these are not 8, and this has to be a 3 and that 4 in that order. This can't be 7 anymore, so that one is. I'm going to call a 9, comes back down for 1, 7, that comes up to give me a 6 to finish off column 9. So I've got 1A here and 1A here that interact with each other. This can't be 6 anymore, and neither can that. 2 8 makes this not 8. Actually, that sorts out 1 in row 4, which sorts out the 8 1 in row 1. That'll sort out the 5 2 in row 1, which sorts out the 5 in column 5 to finish region 2. And assuming I did this right, which I think I did, aside from sometimes I can't type, but yeah, 17 minutes and the time that was slow because I didn't scan very well, but I'm proud of the fact I saw a lot of derived quadruples and then it was just hidden singles once I scanned carefully, but this was not a particularly hard puzzle and if anybody beat this in under 10 minutes, let me know in the comments.